Back in 1845, when the U.S. held a vote, there weren't always polling places on every corner. Some voters had to travel a few days to vote. Sunday wasn't a good day because people would go to church. Wednesday didn't work either because that was market day. Basically, by default, we're stuck with voting on Tuesdays in November. And not just any Tuesday will do. If the first Tuesday of the month is on November 1st, like this year, that's no good. A federal law created back then says elections will be held the first Tuesday after the first Monday. That keeps any All Saints Day celebrations from clashing with casting a ballot. Today, the U.S. is no longer agrarian and polling stations are much closer to where voters live, and Tuesday is no longer the most convenient day. According to the Census Bureau, in 2008, 17.5% of eligible voters said they were too busy to vote. That's 2.6 million potential votes. And that number is significant enough to sway an entire election. That voter turnout number is extremely low compared to other industrialized countries. The U.S. holds 27th place in a list of 35 developed nations. Many people in the U.S. are advocating to move the election to a weekend day, like Italy, Mexico, and Sweden all do. And some organizations are trying to change it. What we advocate um, at Y Tuesday is moving election day to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so that you have a full, uh, they have the full weekend to vote. Representative Steve Israel of New York has been trying to change this rule from the inside. I've introduced the Weekend Voting Act, which would move federal elections from Tuesday to weekends. We ought to make it easier for people to vote. He's introduced a bill over and over and over and over and over again. The Weekend Voting Act has died every single time in committee. But weekend voting or making Election Day a holiday does have bipartisan support. We shouldn't be holding our elections on a work day. Whether or not the elections ought to be held on a Tuesday or maybe move them to Saturday or some other day, I'm certainly open to that. Some states allow early voting, in-person absentee voting, or voting by mail to make voting easier. But some states don't have these options at all. Making voting more convenient sounds like a win for democracy. But the United States Government Accountability Office studied the costs and benefits of implementing the Weekend Voting Act. They say that moving polling places, workers, equipment, and ballot security to the weekend would create higher costs. This year, America is voting on the last possible day permitted by federal law, November 8th. But maybe in 2020, voters will head to the polls on a Saturday or a Sunday. Because last year, for the fifth time, the Weekend Voting Act was sent to committee, and it hasn't been killed yet.